Good afternoon, boys and girls. Hey, it's Miss Beth. I've got your Bible lesson for today. Um, the title of today's lesson is called The Good News. And the good news, is, of course, is about Jesus. Um, in the early church, Jesus' followers wanted others to hear about the good news of Jesus. God had kept his promise to send a Savior. God sent his own son, Jesus, into the world. Jesus lived a perfect life and died on the cross to rescue sinners. Then God raised Jesus from the dead. We call this good news about Jesus the gospel. People who love Jesus tell others the good news about him. As we learned before, he wanted everyone to hear the gospel. Now, Paul, as you remember, Paul told many people about Jesus. But you remember, in the early, in the early part of the lessons, a few weeks ago, we learned about Paul. And remember, Paul was the one, his actual name was Saul at the time. He was the one who hated Christians, and he didn't want them preaching about Jesus, and he wanted them imprisoned or dead until God had another plan for him, and God got a hold of him. And remember, he was on that road to Damascus, and he shined a bright light on him and blinded him for three days, and God got his attention, and Paul believed in Jesus and Paul believed what he had done and Paul started to teach and preach about Jesus to other people. So Paul wrote many letters or chapters in the Bible. Um, one of the letters that Paul wrote for Jesus followers was in Rome and Paul wrote this letter in part to explain the essentials of the Christian life and what it means to live for Jesus and Paul's words are helpful today. And you remember a couple weeks ago we had um, we had the eggs, the eggs were the bad stuff in your heart, and we and we put the good heart, good chunks, the good things back in your heart so that you could live for him like compassion and being kind and being humble and being gentle and patient and forgiving and mostly loving. You remember that because it's Valentine's Day, so it's very timely today. So Paul wrote that God sent his son into the world because he loves us. We were God's enemies. We disobeyed him, but Jesus died and rose again to make us friends with God. Jesus is God's good gift to us. Paul reminded the Romans about the first man, Adam. You remember that, Adam and Eve. Okay, so there's a picture of Adam. And, okay, so there's Adam. Now, Adam disobeyed God. Adam represented all the people, but he sinned. He and Eve sinned. His sin brought death to the good world that God had made. And after Adam sinned, everyone sinned, and death spread everywhere. So God sent Jesus into the world. And Adam's, Adam's sin brought death, and Jesus brings life. Okay? Adam disobeyed God which is sin, and Jesus always did what was right because he's God's son, so he's pure and sinless. So when the people heard this, that Jesus had died for him and that their sins were forgiven, they wondered if they could keep on sinning. It was okay. They were saved. It was no big deal, right? And Paul wrote back and said, no, it isn't okay. He explained to them that sin makes people do things that hurt themselves and others. And if you think about it, that's really true. But Jesus came to set people free from their sin. Sin is the struggle in our fallen world, but we have the power through the Holy Spirit to resist it. You just have to ask for help. It's hard. Even I know it's, 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 it's hard for everybody, even adults, believe me. Um, Jesus makes us free to live in a new way that brings joy and honors God. Okay, so the other thing that I want to tell you about... We have this, okay, the, the cross. Okay, good, I got it. Just about right, okay. So the key passage of this lesson is from Romans 12, five, and it says, so in Christ we are many, and then we form one body, and each member belongs to the others. So if we take a heart and maybe say, this is Miss Beth, and we stick it in here and with the others, and we say, maybe this is Olivia. And we put this one, we just stick this one in here and add that to it. And then maybe this one is Lawson, this heart. And we'll stick this one in here and see 
We take all the believers, and maybe this one's Hunter. And let's see, where can we stick Hunter? We'll put Hunter right there. And look at, and then I've got one more, and I think this is Caroline. So we take this and we put them in here, and all these, all of these separate hearts make one big heart. And look, it makes a cross. And so it shows that we're Christians. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple review questions. I'll give you the answers, but you can be thinking while I ask. So who wrote the letter to Jesus followers in Rome about the good news? Oh, this guy, Paul. And what was the good news about Jesus called? The gospel. And what is the good news? God loves us and sent Jesus to save us. And who sinned first and brought sin and death into the world? Adam. And what is the church? The church is all of the Christians everywhere. All of us. So thank you so much for listening today. And we'll close with a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for this very happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for um, everybody that's watching today. Thank you for helping me do this lesson. Please give everyone a safe week. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye. We'll see you next week.